What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Demo Podcast. It's Neela. And it is Adis. What's up, Familia? I like looked at the intro of our last video, and I looked so depressed when I said that, but it was because it was midnight, and we had tried 10 times. And we recorded three or four episodes. Sometimes you go through these weird lapses in, like... I don't know. It's just a weird vibe. We were just not vibe. meshing. Yeah. I, I think energy is so interesting. Like, I yes. know we're going to, I want to talk about karma today because what goes around comes around. And I'm hella surprised we haven't even talked about karma yet. Yeah. I feel like we have. It's came up a few times, but energy in general is an interesting like concept as well. I think down the line, we can talk about it like the waves of how emotions go up and down and yep. we literally act on how we feel and look how we feel. Cause like today, thankfully I have good energy and I'm like, oh, welcome back. Do you wear your heart on your sleeve though? Like if if you're going through a funk, uh, I can read you. Cause you I, tell me. I feel like I can. I as like you can read bro, me, but you know me. It, that's what I'm saying. I can read you when you're when you're mm -hmm. off energy, and you're also different around different people. I know. Like I you're am. different around Mo. Whenever Mo's here, you're different energy. When you're Bolo, you're different energy. When you're with your friends, it's a different energy. When you're in the work environment, it's a different energy. Mm -hmm. I think in the work environment, no matter what, no matter what I'm facing, you'll never know. Yeah, in the work, I'm like hats on, it's like hands hats down. On. Yeah, that's why you're down. really do like you do well because you're able to you know set that aside mm -hmm. and like put that hat on because it's a difficult hat to put on. I don't <laughs> know where it came from. Like you just, you've always been a boss, bro. I don't know where I know my since ability, we were kids. Not even the boss aspect, but like I guess it's experience, bro. You learn. You no, learn. But you're willing to take control. Yeah, like but you're a go like you you do things. I know you were never the type to just like be lazy at home too. Even when we were kids, bro, you like so? you would go. Yeah, you'd be super accommodating to your guests, bro. <laughs> like you'd you know like it's like a you're kind of like a like I'll do it. Okay, instead well, of like other people are like oh you do it. Yeah, you know? I feel like, you. And but I that's don't know if I wear my heart on you. my sleeve, though. I don't think. I think that's so funny that you say that I'm different, but it's not in a bad way, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I just I level to people. So if you're in a bad mood. Yeah. You're in a bad mood, right? Am I? No, I'm asking. Yeah, you, of course. Of right? Course, like yeah. you can, it's, you can't set it aside and just look past it and then cope or like, say, okay, say you go through I something. I can. You can? I can. Like I'll fight with my sisters and come here and be perfectly fine with you. Yeah. I think I, I'm good at I that. I can bounce that out. Really? Yeah, When I'm you going are. through a funk, bro, mm -hmm. you're reading it. It shows on your face. All on me. It shows on yeah. your face. I know. And it's like crazy because I think... I try so hard to hide it, but now as I'm gro growing more mature, I'm becoming more in tune with how I feel and expressing how I feel. And it's okay to go through things. I, I used, same. Yeah, I used to always be like, you're not seeing it. Yeah. But now I'm just like, if it's bothering me, bro, like no. there's no hiding it. I don't think I can hide it. Like, yeah. I think it depends on the situation. Cause obviously like I haven't, I've been in a funk the last few weeks and I haven't been able to hide it. Like to the point where like, if someone asks, are you okay? I'm like, like tears are just falling. I was like, literally, you don't even realize it. So I think it has to do with like grow, like as a person, when you go through something and you literally are just like emotion, like you're a wreck, you can't hide it, bro. And you know this, like, I feel like same with, cause or maybe it's just the people who know you are and around, you know, that is. that's what I think. Yeah. Cause I, but no, and you're also, but, maybe you're more comfortable showing them. That? I, I've never been though, but even at work though, my, my direct reports were like, you look, like, like, are you okay? They're like, are you okay? Like, you don't look okay. And I was like, oh shit, is this shit showing? Like, I'm putting, I'm talking and I'm talking, but I guess people can literally sense. And it's energy. It's all energy, bro. I think it is. I think you can pick up on small little cues. I've learned to understand human interaction pretty well now, now that I've been working a few jobs and stuff and how people, what makes people tick, like what makes people happy, what makes people sad. And when someone's going through it, I can see it. I, I, and I actually, if you're going through something sad, I don't know, they call it like you're an empath or some shit like mm. that. Like I can really feel people's emotions, bro. It bleeds onto me. Like if you're going through something, I will feel that wholeheartedly. Like it'll affect me, yeah. especially if it's like someone I love and really care for. Even if it's someone I don't really know, if they're going through something like it's hard for me to like continue on, like that's not going on with them. You know what I mean? Like the beauty is though that like, if you if you're a good person and you're going through like a heartache or whatever it may be, like your karma will come in terms of like, and I keep reading all these like sentimental like powering like quotes around like for every pain and like suffering and tear or whatever like like it'll turn around ten times better. Like what goes around comes around. Like we go through funks and like low lows and high highs, but like they say like if you're pure intentions and you've always been like very genuine and like you are actually facing something like the karma to that is actually beautiful. And it's like a test in a sense where it's like, it's not going to be like this forever, but 
you know, what goes around comes around, I feel like. And I've always been someone where, like, if someone does me wrong, I will never wish bad upon them. Like, Take the high road. No matter how much pain it's caused me, I just feel like I've become really good at just looking at it for its the good versus all the bad, although it, like, literally kills me inside. But I feel like I just move – I try to move on, right? But – I'm never like, oh, karma's going to get you. Like, I hope your karma's a guy, you know? Like, because a lot of people do think that way. But I think the universe has an interesting way of playing its part where what happens to someone or if you do someone wrong, it will come back and happen to you. And I've I've been through it. Do you feel in those moments, do you feel the rage? Like, if you get done dirty, do you get that, like, okay, here's the rage, but I have to deal with it the way I got to deal with it instead of, like, I need my get back? Because I genuinely feel like, for me, the what made me take the high road in a lot of situations, right? And a lot of situations that I was put, potentially in, put in a bad place where people are wishing bad upon me, bro, or, like, they've done me so dirty... I don't want other people's actions to affect my actions. Like every action has a reaction, right? And I don't want my reaction to be so bad that it literally brings me down and it pulls my soul down into the same place they're at, you know? Like I don't feel like I need to stoop down to your level because if I do, I'm not any better than you are. I kind of leave that shit in God's hands. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to take 10 steps back based on someone else's vibration. If someone's vibrating, and we've talked about law of vibration and everything on this podcast, you guys should definitely go look, take a look at it. But if someone's vibrating at a a very uh, low place, right? And what I mean by that is they're doing things that are potentially damning um, their morale and like who they are and like they're doing really bad things that brings them here and if you're vibrating here right and this person goes and tries to bring you down they might be successful bro and now you did something that is so outside of your character that now you vibing with the same vibration and I don't want to do that I don't you let should. other people's affect other people's actions affect me because they're going through their own demons and their own like you know, things that they're going through and I don't want to inherit their their demons. Yeah, that is such a real thing where you, like it's all based off of energy. And it's one thing to match someone's energy to an extent where you want to essentially, you know, make something work or like vibe out with them and like scoop to their level. But like to, to your point, I think it, if they're like at a very low vibration and you're like bringing yourself down to that frequency, it's literally like not serving you. And so I feel like to your point, there are moments as human beings where the aggression is there. It's like when you're raging in that moment and you're upset and you want to like literally go and like set their car on fire because you're upset. I get that. But it's so important, I think. And we don't realize that enough when we're younger, but at old, when you are when you grow and you're older and you look at things from a different lens and you consider yourself and like what the reper- repercussions are going to be to yourself and like what it'll do to you after the fact, you think ahead versus in the moment, you realize that's not the best decision to make. And so I, again, to your point, always have to understand that like what I did in the situation and offered versus like how someone did me, I'm just going to let the universe take its toll on it because I like to look at everything as a life lesson and experience. And like, you know, I see things for what they are and like maybe that had to do with that person and nothing with me, whatever the situation may be or even work, whatever. Um, And so like, let it go. Like do always, your focus should always shift back on yourself and what matters to you and what's important to you, not what doing something to someone else will do to you. Yeah, it feels good if, like, someone cheats on you and you go back and you get them back, right, in that moment. But reality is ask yourself, are you even that person? Do you want to scoop down to that, again, their frequency and and be them? Like, a lot of the times with, like, revenge, it's just a, it's us reflecting on who those people are as a person versus allowing karma to just play its toll. Where, and by karma, I don't mean, okay, the worst needs to come back and happen to them. I just mean that feeling that you feel, that emotion, that heartbreak, that pain, or whatever it is, or even that embarrassment, whatever, if someone makes you feel anything, trust that eventually they'll feel that too. Someone, some way or some way or the other. Or, I think you know? it's, it's a boomerang, bro. It's yeah. like you, whatever you throw out, the energy that you throw out and the motion that you throw out to the universe, it's going to circle back one way or another, whether it be tomorrow, whether it be next week, next month, next year. I truly believe that. I don't know if it's the law of attraction. I don't know if you're attracting bad things. I don't know if it's karma. I don't know if it's God. Um, it's something where if you uh, uh, attract, you attract the energy that you put out. And I don't want to deal with that. And also, all the while, knowing that karma exists, we've seen karma like out there. And the 
scary part about it is sometimes good things happen to really good people. I mean, bad things happen to really good people. That's the scary part about it. It's like, dude, what? Why? It happens all the this time. This person's so good. Why is he getting the uh, short end of the stick, you know? But I feel like if you decide on not taking the high ground, and not going, you know, what's morally sound and what you should do, and you stoop down to that level, I genuinely think you're setting the baseline in the median of how you're probably going to react if bad shit happens to you after this situation. If you've cussed the guy out, slashed his tires, like knocked him out, you know, did crazy shit, that's probably what you're going to do with other situations that come up. Do you want to deal with things like that? I mean, it'll feel good in that moment, of course. Like, you're like, light that shit on fire. But it's not going to feel good after the fact. Like, it's not going to be... I mean, then now you're just, like, playing with fire, I feel like. And and, and it doesn't just have to be, like, actions. You can say things about people. They're and, hurtful. And, or you can do, you know, assume things about people. Or you can have a, um opinion on someone else's situation. And that same situation could come back and happen to you. And now you're on the other side and you're like, oh, okay, you know, I never got where that person was coming from. Or maybe it wasn't my place to say those things. And now look, I'm sent, I'm going through it. And I recently said this, I'm so much more mindful and aware of like my input on things versus just being a good friend versus like my strongly opinionated like point of view because no one really knows what people are going through and like you know it could come around and we can get hit with that same situation and be vulnerable and get in that same rock bottom area and like now we're going through it and we don't want to you know it's like we have to just be aware and mindful of what we're putting out because no matter what the words are the actions are the circumstances it'll come back and it has happened to me like there's there have been instances where I was not necessarily judgmental, but I definitely had my perception on a situation of a friend or something, and, you know, I wanted more for them, because it did come from a caring place, but I was I was very selfless, or selfish around, like, you know, their decision-making, and I was like, that's a, that's a poor decision, whatever, and then I came across a situation where I was doing the same thing, and I'm like, holy shit, like, you feel me, 10 months later, look at me now, like, so you just have to be aware of that. I think so, I think awareness is, like, the biggest thing in all of this, because, you have to be aware. I, you know what, when I go about life and stuff, I always think of the big man. Mm. I always, no matter what That's I do, I'm like, thing, yeah. because a lot of people forget about him, right? And I know... Again, if you don't believe in God, that's totally up to you. Um, I do, and I always go about my life knowing that someone is watching up there, right? And then in our in our beliefs, right, there's it's said that there's an angel kind of following you about your day, right? And he's kind of writing on two. or two, right? Each and yeah, on each shoulder, right? Mm -hmm. And they're writing down your good deeds and your bad deeds. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to come up. <laughs> you feel me? I'm trying to hit all of the good and less of the bad because I sin. I'm a human being. I sin on the daily. We all slip up. Yeah, like, and it could be small things like, over ordering food when I know I can't eat this much food and it's going to go to waste and like sins like that or bigger sins. I, I couldn't tell you right now because I feel like I'm pretty solid, <laughs> but I'm definitely not a perfect human being. But what makes me strive for that is knowing that there's a creator. And if you have those moments in life where you're questioning your faith and you're questioning if there's really somebody watching you, go look at a sunset, G. Go look at the clouds. Go look at the sky. If the sky is pink and purple and blue and yellow and all of this and the birds are in sync and all this, come on, G. Also, there's somebody watching and let them do the, the karmic relief. Yeah, let right. them handle the karma. Let the universe yeah. and God handle that. Yeah, because that's whatever they're doing is between them and their God. So long as you have pure intentions, you're genuine, you you have a positive outlook on whatever the situation may be, your karma will always be good, I feel like, because you were always honest and truthful and not a hypocrite or like, you know, just fake. Something else that really helps is always asking yourself, like, what if that was me? Put yourself in people's shoes, right? We're so quick to just identify or criticize or have an opinion or look at something and just have our point of view again. Like, always ask yourself, what if I was in her position? What if I was in his position? What if that was me? Like, you know, like, even like, you know, like it's, there's just so many different situations where we can look at it from that view and really, again, change our mind around how we feel about it. And that makes a world of a difference. But I think just having that pureness in your heart really helps and understanding that, yes, as much as we want shit to, like, if I'm getting hurt, I want you to be hurt tomorrow. If you hurt me, I want you to be hurt tomorrow. 
let the universe take control. There's probably, I may have been karma for them in another way versus, you know, it's like you don't know. You don't know. So I just think the universe has an interesting way of playing out. But I think as so long as you're pure and your intentions are clear, you ain't got to worry about your karma being. Honestly, because you're doing <laughs> the right thing. Be resilient. Yeah. Um, you know, show that. And I think. Where can they find us? YouTube.com slash the Dima Podcast TDP. We out. We out.